We, we are going to get down link, aren't we, through this? Yeah. Okay, we're we, going to we go up here. Oh, let's go. Quick. Some of the coloration we're seeing here really has to do with the sand dune. And you, know, you, you look at, you see that the, uh, the dune field is dark and in, in this kind of a camera will look sort of a little bluish. Um, there, and so there's dark sand, there's the, the red dust, and there's the substrate rock, which is tan or a light, you know, light, light tone of some type. Um, those are all the basic elements that we've known for Mars from telescopic observations. The, the way dust and sand are trapped by a surface will also uh, change their color. So I, I can't say it's a more colorful or diverse site than others in terms of just on the basis of, of the photometry or colorimetry, but obviously geomorphically is a very diverse place, and I'd expect we're going to see lots of patterns from that. We're going to Todd Halverson. Todd Halverson of Florida Today and uh, USA Today. Um, I am wondering if you can tell us what uh, you're going to be doing. Uh, very excited that there are a lot of things to look at. And as Mike said, we don't know that they're the same, whether they're the same or different compositions, but they certainly have uh, different textures, and we're hoping the color can help us guide us, guide us to uh, um, some variations as well.